When I was a resident, I was doing 95% of my vascular procedures as a standard open surgeon. I was trained as a resident in vascular surgery, in open surgery, and this was more than 30 years ago. And at that time, I had no idea that vascular surgery would become an endovascular world. This has really been incredible to see what we have achieved over the past years. I mean, this was not even an idea that we could treat uh, teracobdominal dissection, arch aneurysm with branch and fenestrated endograft. So we've achieved a lot. Uh, we now have a 3D imaging system to better select the patient, to better design the endograft and to guide us during the procedure. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, fenestrated and branch arch endograft that are either custom made or uh, off the shelf for emergencies. But there are still a couple of acuities here. One, we don't have that many surgeons that are trained to do those complex cases. And two, those are still complex cases. So we really need to work uh, to get workflow that are easier to train uh, more young endovascular surgeons and to uh, probably uh, integrate more AI into our daily practice because AI will uh, bring thousands of cases of experience uh, to uh, every uh, center performing those procedures when looking at an imaging, uh, when uh, designing an endograph, and when guiding you uh, throughout the procedure. I think that one of the next uh, challenges is really to integrate AI into our daily practice to make sure that more and more physicians, vascular surgeons, uh, or any endovascular uh, physician can perform those complex procedures.